Okay, as you can see in the chat box, there are few uh, links for you, okay? So there is a syllabus link. There's a syllabus link wherein you can see the syllabus over here. There is a payment link for enrolling of the batch. You can just go on this link and you can enroll with us while clicking on the uh, buy option, okay? So in case you want to give any feedback, you are allowed to give on this link. You and for batch skills, you are supposed to click on this link for all the batch information. And in case you have any further queries, you can email us always on this support at the rate of .com, or you can drop us a WhatsApp message on these two numbers, okay? So uh, this demo will be live on Facebook in case you uh, face any internet glitch or any error, you are always allowed to just join us on Facebook also, okay? So uh, let me introduce uh, your mentor, Priyasha Ma'am. She is already here with us. She is a wonderful mentor who will be going to carry forward with you on her reasoning batches. So I'll not take much time. All over to you, Priyasha Ma'am. Thank you, Ma'am. Thanks a lot. Hello, everyone. Thank you for joining in. So since we are about to have an introduction and a demo session today, before moving ahead, I would like to, you know, just have your views on reasoning because you people are now grown up kids and you people know the real importance of reasoning pretty well. So I would like to know from you people. I know chatting is a little difficult and very hard to do, but don't worry. Consider it as a normal chat and just type in and let me know that what is your standpoint of reasoning because what I understand when I was in your grade I used to understand that reasoning is something which is only going to help me in the competitive examinations where most of my maths or science or computer entrance I mean international olympiads they were all asking me some questions related to logical reasoning for sure that was my part of understanding when I was of your age but then literally when I grew up, I realized that reasoning is more than that. When it comes to reasoning, it is more about your personal development as well. When we say that it opens up your mind or it makes you think in a different direction, it actually comes by these pure learning, where only I would not be giving you the answer to a particular question, but you in these group sessions would also be having a turn to listen to someone else's method. And if that varies from you, you get an opportunity to get both the worlds, you know, like your method also, you can correct it and you can also get to know the other person's method. With this comes another advantage that added on advantage is that you also get the benefit. Benefit of what? Benefit of observing things better. So I have a very old saying, like kind of a saying only now because in so many classes of reasoning, I do use this. That if a person is good at reasoning, the person always ought to be good at the other subjects also. And why am I so sure about it? The reason for that is that if you are doing reasoning, you're doing a bit of everything, a bit of English, a bit of math, a bit of science, a bit of GK. So consequently, what happens, you are forced to, in a way, have a touch of every flavor and that makes you automatically think out of the box while giving an example or solving a case like solving a case by that I mean you guys might have uh, read a couple of books where uh, or might have seen movies or web series where you have seen detectives and something similar in that manner they have a different job role or they are called smarter than the other normal people because they think out of the box and what we are learning in these sessions is not just to give you better marks in your olympiads but to focus more on making you as a better person working on your personality working on your holistic development so with this i would uh, wind up not take a long lecture on this because we will be having a quick demo after it so after my like once i complete i would be like ma'am would be sharing an important pp which will contain all the details about reasoning and uh, then we would be moving down to uh, the access to the website you will see what all you will get with this course and then we'll start with our demo quickly i have handpicked some easy to medium level questions for you so we will uh, go ahead and try them out and see how the same question can be done in various different methods okay so with this i'll wind up thank you puja ma'am over to you 
Thank you so much, Priyasha, ma'am. So I think you are super excited now, right? You can see that your mentor is over thrilled, right? Okay, so drop it in the chat box from which grade you are in. Like, obviously, this demo is for grades 7 to 10, right? So I just want you to know from which grades you are in. 7th, 9th, 8th, 10th, 7th, 9th, 8th. Okay, great. Very nice. Okay, let me share my screen with you all. Hope my screen is visible to everybody. Yeah, it is. As you know that we are here in demo of reasoning program for grade seven to 10. So Olympiad Success is a platform, online preparation platform for Olympiad examination, which deals in eight courses like mathematics, English, science, logical reasoning, communication skills, and Vedic maths and coding also. So only in CBSC, ICSC, IB classes for grade 2 to 12. One-on-one -on -one pl uh, preparation platform from International Mathematics Olympiad, CESMO, CEMO, International HKMO, TIMO, Math Count, US Common Core, Math Competition, Math Kangaroo, PRMO. So you can see, you can meet our rank holders who have scored pretty well in 21-22. They are like you only, wherein you are also going to go ahead. So we do provide online Olympiad classes, right? So with a group session with 20 kids delivered through Zoom, tutor, uh, Zoom platform with seasoned tutors, right? So they'll, you'll be going to get two sessions per week. You'll be going to get two sessions per week, that is Saturday and Sunday. Timings will be 4 p.m. to till 5.15 p.m. with five minutes of break. So the session includes a mix of theory, practice questions, doubt sessions, and discussion on previous year papers. Students will get reading material and practice questions, which will be available on the dashboard of Olympiad Success. Students will get a free access to Olympiad Success platform to practice topic-wise mock test for both maths and reasoning to as logical reasoning constitutes 10 to 15% of the questions. The objective of these sessions is to provide introduction to the entire curriculum and give sufficient headway to the student compared to their peers. So what all you get is syllabus, classes, and fees information on this slide. So syllabus is available at, available at these particular links. So you can see that for grade seventh, you have to just click on this link. You, for eight, you have to click on particular link. For ninth, for 10th, you have to click on particular links. And the fees for this course is for 10,000 10, 38 rupees. So it is for 45 session course. Payment can be made using this link. So the fees includes online classes, daily reading notes, and exercises. Practice of previous year papers, access to Lompiad Success platform for mathematics plus logical reasoning. So there will be no refund. What all you need is a laptop or desktop with good internet connection, with good camera, and a good video skill. So with headphones that for the better audio clarity. Preparation for online exams is tougher than regular school curriculum, as you know already. So hence, that's why we have a seasoned tutors to prepare you well for the same. Hence, students will be required to spend approximately two hours every day along with the uh, preparation with the tutors. So you have to spare two hours every day for the better preparation. So regular classes will be going to start from 6th of April for these batches. So that was all about the information of batch. Now I'm going to give you the tour of dashboard. So what you have to do is you have to just enter the URL over here, olympiadsuccess.com. After entering in, you'll get the login details on your screen, wherein you need to enter the correct login details, okay?
make sure that you fill correct user details, otherwise you will not be able to log in. After entering in, you'll get the my profile details on your screen where you need to check all these details that if there is any error on the uh, person details, you can just rectify it over there and you can click on update button, okay? So after this, you have to just click on live classes, which is right under this my referral icon. So over here, you have to select your specific subject for which subject you want to see your material and topic also for checking your reading material and your question papers. So I'm going to select coding and decoding. As I've selected, I got the reading material and question papers on the screen, right? So here is a schedule. Schedule will give you the clarity that in which session we are going to cover which specific topic. So you can just click it over here and you'll get all the details of related to schedule in this PDF. You can see in session one, we are going to cover specific topic, session two, Okay, there is some error. So otherwise you'll open schedule over here, you'll get all the details like in which session we're going to cover with specific, okay? So here is a holiday calendar for you. So in that you'll get to know that on which festival we, festival we do have off that you should not take unnecessary hours as already there is a tw classes twice a week, <coughs> excuse me. So here is a reading till while clicking on it, you will get your detailed reading stuff on your screen, okay? So you can download this PDF if you want to read this later on. For that, you have to just click it over here, click here to download the PDF and you can save this PDF in your device also. Here are the question answers set. So here is a question paper. You can just download this paper and you can take out the printout and solve it. I'll advise you that you should take out answer keys later on once you're done with the question paper that you should not come in the curiosity of checking the answers parallelly while solving it, okay? So here is the answer key. You can see all the answers are mentioned over here. So this will give you clarity that which answer your question you have done correct, which question you have done wrong, okay? So in live classes, you get to know your schedule, your holiday calendar, your reading plan, and your question papers. So moving on the worksheets, I'll show you like in worksheets, you'll get more practice, okay? So after clicking on worksheet, which is right after this dashboard button, you have to just select your specific subject so I'm going to select reasoning. You can select the number also. As of now, the worksheets are not available over here, but the moment you'll get access, you'll get all the worksheets, okay? So you have to just select subject over here. And then you have to just click on take exam. While clicking on the exam, you'll get general instructions on your screen. Read these instructions carefully before attempting your worksheet, okay? Then you should not commit any mistake while attempting. So after that, you have to just click on start worksheet. While clicking on start worksheet, you'll get all the questions on your screen, right? So you can see there are so many questions, 25 questions are there. So once you're done with the question one, you have to move on question two. For that, you have to just click on next button. So done with question two, you have to move on next question. You have to click on next button. So in this way, you have to keep on clicking next button and you can move on the next questions, okay? But make sure that you attempt each and every question carefully and before submitting your worksheet, just review your questions that whether you have done correct or if you find any error while reviewing it, you can just rectify it, okay? But after submission, you will not be able to mark any changes. So click on finish button to just submit your worksheet. Make sure that you submit your worksheet, otherwise you will not be able to see your performance at how you have performed in your worksheet, okay? Yes, I've reviewed all the questions, then you'll get a feedback on page on your screen, so you can click submit or you can click later also, okay? So now once you are done with the worksheet, you want you to see your performance, for that you have to just click on performance button, which is right after this worksheet button. So again, you have to select your subject, for which specific subject you have attempted the worksheet, you can just click it over here. For that, you have to just click on view button. You can see the performance. I have attempted three questions all around, okay? So you can click on review button. So you get to know which answer was correct, which answer is wrong, okay? So that's the reason I was telling you, make sure whenever you're attempting the worksheet, you should 
attempt it carefully with proper attention okay so in worksheet button you will get to know your worksheets in comments you'll get to know how you have attempted the worksheet your scores in live classes you'll get your question papers answer keys your reading period your schedule your holiday calendar okay so you have to just log out and we are good to go so that was all about dashboard tour so if anybody is having any query related to the dashboard feel free to drop it in the chat box i'll be happy to answer your query Yes, Anushka, you're dropping, ma'am. I request whosoever is sitting with the off cameras, please turn on your cameras. Let's see if uh, it doesn't look nice, right? It's a communication. We are already, we are meeting virtually. So it's good that if you just keep your cameras on, then we have better communication from both sides, right? In class, how does it look if you people sit like turning off the cameras? I'll appreciate more like who all are sitting with cameras on throughout the session. That was very nice. Anybody is having any doubt related to the dashboard? If not, just show me a thumbs up. Then I'll, then I'll ask the questions. Okay. No one. Very nice. Okay, tell me, uh, on which days we do have classes? Drop it in the chat box. On which days we do have classes? What are the class days? Weekends. Days. Uh, yes, Saturday, Sunday. Very nice. Saturday, Sunday. Nice. What are the timings? At what time you have to sit with your laptop, with your pen, paper, to just attend your class? Okay. It's 4 to 5.15. Yes. Very nice. So I think everybody is clear with all the details. Nobody is having any doubt. We are good to go for the demo. Are you ready for the demo? Are you excited? But I cannot see the excitement. Not well, ma'am. I cannot turn on the camera. Okay. We have a bond ready also in the chat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Very. All right. All right. I think then we are good to go, Priya Shavam. All over to you. Sure. Thank you. All right, then let's get started. So I have got up some questions for you people. Like we'll directly start on with questions. Literally, I have nothing to add on to the theory part. We'll discuss about the theory in detail when we start off with the questions, you know, in the normal classes. But here in demo, I would like to teach you with the help of the examples. So let's get started. You guys can tell me the answers in the chat box. Okay, so let me share my screen real quick. And let me know if you can see it. Like, just a thumbs up would be good. Yep. All of you can see my screen. Great. All right, then let's get started. Logical reasoning is uh, full of logic. That's the best example I have ever got. Like, it was one of these sessions where I asked a student, like, what exactly do you understand with logical reasoning? And I got a very nice answer that it is full of logic, ma'am. Okay, I started off a question from coding decoding. So you guys tell me the answer by thinking what could be the possible logic behind it. And I'll tell you a fun story back in. So the fun story of coding decoding actually comes from back in ages when we were uh, fighting in groups and tribes that, okay, this tribe is stronger or that tribe is stronger. So people used to send messages to each other that you please at this particular time of the day, stay here, do this. But you know what? These messages were all decoded easily because they were written in plain, simple language. <laughs> now from there came the idea of coding and decoding where exactly they wrote something in their own coded language. Like every code has a different logic. Like here... Writing Palam as 43 has a code in itself, the logic of itself. But suppose I write, um, let me try something with you people before you actually get down with this question. Okay, so uh, let's do this. Yalp. What can be the suitable word for Yalp? 
the way i wrote it on the screen you guys might have got an idea uh very good shrey shrey knows me very well welcome back shrey <laughs> so he understood that ma'am loves one thing and that is playing and so what i did was i wanted to tell you people to play so i could have written the same thing just in reverse so if it's a code between you and me then we can actually send messages to each other in the chat as everyone and no one else will understand if that's the logic between us if we know the logic here so that's the real point of coding decoding that's how it evolved like it just evolved and came to such an area where now it is a part of all your uh, examinations also coming down to the question itself i have received some of the answers let me check some more i am getting more yes says arav okay thank you arav you joined in <laughs> all right so arav has given me the logic correct what about others others you can just check the chat arav has helped you people already so here we need the place value of the alphabet see there are some ways and some techniques which you people will use let me tell you one fact which can be a bit disheartening but the fact that's a fact that logical reasoning has no limit no end you can't say that i read this particular book ma'am so i'm pretty sure that i can solve all the questions of logical reasoning unfortunately cannot happen because logic is unlimited you can do a logic of all the place values okay and adding it up to get the answer like p i have a very nice way of remembering p my name is priyasha and i therefore don't need any logic to remember or any trick to remember my place value which is 16 same as a it's the first letter we all know well i have a very funny way to remember the place value of l though i know you guys are grown up and for you it might sound silly but just try it once i request you not even loudly just whisper it 12 when you say 12 clearly you will see the most prominent syllable coming out is l 12 and that's how you remember the place value of 12 i mean l is 12 i know these are very similar to dad jokes but trust me i don't care whether these are something which are very silly or something which really makes sense as far as you remember the place value my job is done coming back to a it's one again and m is actually 13 but i am trying to give you a funnier way i don't have a funnier way to remember m though what i have is a technical way to remember the place value of m that is if i give a 90 degree rotation to m in the clockwise direction i look at it as a 3 now 3 is already taken by c and 23 will be too close to z you know so i can't really give it 23 or 3 so i'll rather give it a 13 now when i add up these numbers i would realize that oh wow it comes down to 43 itself correct just check if i'm right 17 this one is 20 and is that that makes sense so here if we see this when we are dropping down and doing questions how would we pretty well understand that okay come on now this is the stopping point and we have to only add it's not fixed so we will go for hit and trial so you need to know one thing in this logical reasoning you cannot be tired you are not going to be tired don't be tired because if you are then you would not get the answers quickly first is hit and trial you might not get your correct answer in the first second fourth tenth attempt but definitely in the coming attempts you will get your answer so don't like leave it just because you don't get it in the first two attempts and the second is practice a lot because after practicing you will reach a level where you will get the answer by thinking a little bit because they can't really go beyond that level you know until and unless they have just made their mind to screw you up until and unless they make a question paper like that you will not feel that exhausted while doing the questions so practice makes it really simple and easy more type of logics is what you encounter so more types of uh, things you can really guess now come to santa cruz guys then according to that what should be the answer if adding up the place value gives me the value so om has given me the answer pavan has given me the answer thank you so much you guys are absolutely right i saw one more answer uh, okay yeah great 123 would be the correct answer because s is 19 a is 1 n 
how do i remember n i'll tell you so november 14th is children's day so n 14 again i know silly don't laugh at me s similarly at the same time is t20 so we it's very easy to remember that t20 matches so t is 20 so s is one letter before it so it has to be a 19 similarly t20 we already discussed a is 1 c is 3 i don't think you need a logic r well the right to vote especially in india at least i'm sure that right to vote is given to you at the age of 18 by the way you are a righteous adult also so right now you are not an adult currently but very close to being an adult so r is 18 okay u comes right after t so again you don't need a logic to remember the place value of u it's right after t so it's 21 and z doesn't need an introduction z is like i am as special as a and the last letter and there are only 26 letters in the alphabet so once you have all the letters with you just add it on and uh, you know we have more funnier ways to remember the place value <laughs> which we will disclose in the first class i mean first regular class just next week okay i have a very super simple question which is actually silly but yeah makes sense in the question paper arjun send me a picture of you sleeping there <laughs> okay i see so many right answers coming in well done arav arjun aman uh, akshani pavan shreya well done well done you people sleep on windows nice to know that para and rudra om as well good job so this question has a very simple logic to follow first of all you have to read the very last part of this question the last part of the question is the real question so where would a man like to sleep the real answer to this question would be of course a bed for a normal man though and uh, then after you get the real answer you need to see the is called now some questions are is called and some questions are means it makes a lot of difference let's say let's play with the name of someone over here i am extremely sorry to play with your name but uh, allow me that bhavish i am going with you so bhavish is called b okay big b let's call you big b so bhavish is called as big b now i'll keep on calling bhavish as big b big b big b you know what your answer is right oh what an explanation big b i'll keep on saying that and suddenly imagine someone comes in and tells <laughs> and asks me like what ma'am i cannot see anyone with the name of big b in the participant list who is big b what do you mean by big b then i would say big b means bhavish now the reason i wrote it over here is to show you the positions positions means this is my left hand side this is my right hand side now look what happens when the question is is called when the question is is called my real answer is on the left and my actual coded answer actual i'm saying this because in these type of questions your actual answer is your coded answer only so your coded name or the coded answer is on the right hand side but what happens when we have the sentences of means in the sentences of means my real name comes here and my coded name comes here now here lies the difference if the same question now your answers are all correct window but the same question if you would have got means 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 and means what would have been your answer anyone where would a man sleep the man would sleep in the room correct now it makes more sense than the window <laughs> all right very good so this is how you are supposed to do these type of questions i also added a variation to it just in case you never knew about it an addition to it all right good going let's move to the next question a oh, very easy question blood relations ankit is saying in these type of questions the speaker is really important because the words like he my changes meaning if the speaker changes so go to go forward answer all right i have an answer from arif let's check for others aman as well 
para bhavish arjun pavan okay pavan with a different answer great arshin that means looks like i have to explain point of reference to you people don't worry it's not physics it's it's logical reasoning only okay deepa all right para has changed her answer akshani i don't remember whether you changed it or it's your first answer but arav has surely changed it <laughs> i give a lot of hints no my bad habit i can't stop myself from doing that all right let's get started so in these type of questions literally you don't need a diagram so in blood relations there are two type of questions one questions where you need a diagram that's a must and some questions like this don't require a diagram but they require your understanding so first of all you need to find out who is the speaker ankit is the speaker now how will that make a difference my mother so when the speaker is saying something in direct direct uh, means active voice so you understand this that my mother is ankit's mother so my mother is ankit's mother now only son of my mother so if ankit's mother has only one son it has to be ankit make sense now he who is this he pointing to a photograph of a boy so the boy is he now remember one thing you guys must have done algebra so far in maths right you all are 7 plus so i mean grade 7 plus so you must have done algebra ah okay so is means or is equals to i think it's very odd to say but is equals to is equals to that means uh, he i mean whenever you see a is in the question you understand that you have to equate this person with whoever is coming out here that means he that is the person in the photograph is actually the son of ankit make sense now comes the real part where most of you got confused son or father so now let's read the last part of the question carefully how is ankit related to the boy now see i don't want to get into the technical words like point of reference and stuff i want to tell you very simple the last person in this question that is the boy how is ankit related to the boy so the last person of the question is the decision maker who is he dm the decision maker now he will decide what will he call ankit so if that's the question the answer is not son but father is it all clear everyone is okay with this how father is the answer and not son because like literally 6 to 7 of you gave the answer as son earlier okay and in the exam i won't be there to tell you like i have to teach you point of reference there will be no hints like that okay all right good job everyone good 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 let's get started with the fourth question which is time taking you have to draw this one so if you have notebooks around or ipad around just start scribbling ha <laughs> are really i believe that olympiads do have a ticking time they do uh, you know move ahead real fast so maybe they might be hairy Okay Ravi I'm so sorry but you need to check the audio I believe uh wait I'll just type it out for him can you please check your speakers or rejoin hmm okay all right i'm i'm waiting for your answers it will take time so do not worry okay and if someone is not able to crack it then uh, just wait for another 30 seconds i'll start there's a must must thing to learn and remember in this okay directions chapter no matter what happens no matter what compass is given to you no matter whatever directions are given to you in the room 
it is mandatory that your screen i mean i'm showing my camera your screen and your question paper if it's a physical question paper is always your not forget everything else around you this is the new constant your question paper or your screen is your north then the opposite has to be the south that's the opposite of your screen and again the same thing if north and south is decided then your right hand has to be east i'm wearing a ring on my right hand just to tell you like in case my video is mirrored just to tell you that my right hand has a ring in it and that is always east opposite is always best left hand okay now let's start doing the question because i see some answers pavan om okay good job uh para try to do it mentally oh wow para that's really great i mean good uh, shreya has also got the answer now i'll draw it amit walked 20 meters towards the north so let us start with this point and okay when you have these kind of numbers like 20 30 35 15 we don't carry a scale to do that so we will just approximate approximation means let's say that if this is 5 for me so i can take 5 4 times to make it 20 like this so 20 in the north then from here i am asked to take a right turn so here comes a very important distinction i don't know how many of you like sandwiches but in case you don't then never eat sand which and in case you do no offense i'm so sorry for the previous sentence you can replace it with now eat sand which okay which is north east south west please don't tell me that you knew it from that news thingy because i hate this in news what happens there is no order neither clockwise nor anti clockwise so something which is not systematic is and uniform i don't like it okay so here this one is clockwise makes proper sense that never eat or now eat sandwich is north east south west now from here you understand that when someone is asking you to take a right turn also one more very important fact when someone asks you to take a turn without giving you the angle of the turn you have to assume that the turn is a 90 degree turn okay so from north if we are taking a turn yeah om sure you can take margins also so if from north you are taking a right turn you are definitely going to east so i am turning to east with 30 meters so 1 2 3 4 5 6 30 30 meters for me okay now from east they are asking amit to turn to the right again from here if you turn to right again you come down to south always remember every right turn is a clockwise turn and every left turn is an anti clockwise turn so we are turning right so we are going south i am changing the color i have never made such a colorful diagram before but i am trying this is 20 this is 25 20 uh, i mean 30 and 35 so that makes it 35 over here now i am in the south from here they are asking me to take a left turn left turn is like going back in the anti clockwise direction to the east so if i am going back to the east direction this is like this side i will walk only 15 meters so let me walk 15 meters like 1 2 and 3 that makes 15 now i am in the east direction everyone is okay so far good to go from here again they ask me to take a left so that means from east i will go back to north and this north will only be 15 so here is 1 2 and 3 15 by the way let me tell you till here was 20 so this has to be a 15 this has to be a 15 now comes your final question this is my stopping point everyone look at this this is my stopping point so in which direction and how many meters is he from the starting point in which direction is he he is currently in like from the starting point please don't forget that your point of reference is your starting point which is this so he is exactly in the 
West, East, West. Say no. East, of course, East. That's right, East. And what is the distance? The distance will be 30 plus 15, which is 45 meters in the East. Oh, there was no other option with the 45 itself. So why were you even confused with East and West? <laughs> That's how you realize that the options can be a great friend in the examination as well. Make sense, everyone? We really literally did it nicely. Huh? My one of the best drawings of the year. I'm a burst. I'm burst at drawing. Okay, thank you. So you all understood it. Let's move down to the next question real quick. Coding, decoding. Back. Hey, I did not write the options. So sorry for that. It's like A, B, C, and D. If you didn't take the last one, he would be dependent to use Pythagoras theorem. Oh, lovely, Arab. Correct. We will do a lot of questions on Pythagoras also in our regular classes. Oh, wow. I have answers. Nice. Good job, Arjun. Aman, Arjun, Arab, Shreya. Nice. Pavan, good. Rudra, good. All right. Logic, logic, please. Bhavi, Sharshin, nice. Para, good. Very good. What's the logic? Om has A six times. So, Om is like very, very, very sure of A. That's why you wrote A so many times. <laughs> okay. See, this is a pure question of observation. Nothing to do with your logic or any stuff like that. No, I'm literally telling this, being a teacher of logical reasoning, I have no shame saying this. This has nothing to do with logical reasoning. It's a pure observation question. CH, HC, AM, MA, PI, IP, ON, NO. Take the first two digits, swap their positions. So that makes the answer as option A. Now I have a small trick for this and a lovely trick. The more you realize that you have to take them in pairs and swap, you know your answer's last letter would be V. And there is only one option with that. Finish. Game over. Five seconds. That's how you're supposed to save time in a couple of questions in the Olympiads or the examination you're targeting for. Because literally... 7 out of 10 questions can be done fast. It's like 3 questions out of 10 which are made in such a way to eat up your time. So you are requested to do those questions only towards the end. Of course, if the examination allows you to, some exams don't allow you. Okay, back to maths. <laughs> when I see this question, I feel I'm in a math class or I'm in a logical reasoning class. Don't worry, your teacher is a subject matter expert of mathematics as well. So in Olympiad success, I take classes of mathematics and logical reasoning. That's why I could not resist but give this question to you people. Try. Use algebra. People be like, what's this? We were doing some easy, nice questions. And when did this come? Okay, Amon is helping us. I mean, helping everyone, Amon. <laughs> or you are putting a question. Because I can see an if there. Gomika, I'm not getting your answers. Mm. Oh my God. Emma is like, I'm on a mission to help everyone on this earth do the questions. 
then what about okay you are going on the right track amen no doubt yes om you are getting help from amen amen is not saying anything wrong i mean he is absolutely correct try it out he is taking the logic that let each bench or let okay you have to take one more variable here amen otherwise with one variable it would be difficult to solve arav okay not bad arav you guys also need to know what is the total number of students you also need to know the total number of students mm think think tough no of course gala time cannot last for long right <laughs> okay i am giving you a quick hint take the number of students as x and the number of benches as y take the number of students as x and the number of benches as y and then try to frame the equation like 3 times y plus the remaining kids are equals to x that means i can say that so let me write it down if the number of students is x and the number of benches is y then according to this statement three of them are sitting on one bench so 3 times y plus the four who do not find a place to sit are equals to the total number of students correct this is my equation number 1 my equation number 2 is that when four of them sit together a bench remains completely empty so that means that means what 4 into y minus 1 is equals to x that's my equation number 2 y minus 1 because one bench is remaining completely empty isn't it so that makes two of these equations now i know that both of them are equals to x that is the total number of students so let us equate it let us equate it 3y plus 4 is equals to 4y minus 4 we will shift the 3y to this side it will become minus 3y we will shift the minus 4 to this side it will become plus 4 so 4 plus 4 is 8 and 4y minus 3y is just y and therefore y becomes 8 what was y y was the number of benches the moment you get the number of benches can you find the number of students also put y is equals to 8 in any one of the equations so if i put it over here 4 multiplied with 8 minus 1 gives me a 7 into 4 which is 28 folks just to verify the answer you can actually put in this value and check if it really happens don't worry amen this double variable is just temporary so you don't have to worry about double variable this x is completely temporary if you don't take it also then you are not using it because actually you are only solving one variable see actually you are only solving one variable that is y the moment you get the value of y then you can find out the total so it's a temporary variable not two variables got it everyone clear such a headache <laughs> i can see that expression on your face well this one is pretty simple and easy so it's like a breezer for you people what is geeta's rank in the class the first statement says that there are 30 students in the class and the second statement says that there are 10 students who scored less than geeta you have to tell me which of the following information one or two or either of them can help you to get geeta's rank first you answer then i'll explain what is the difference between option c and option e all right akshani pavan aman para arjun para is like i don't want my answer to be seen by anyone so i'll better direct message you ma'am okay arav Shreya, Arshin, Bhavesh, 
रुद्र एमन ओम ओके ओम हैज इवन कैलकुलेटेड द आंसर हाउ कम <laughs> oh yeah of course why not all right so please pay attention everyone the st statement number 1 says that there are 30 students in the class now if i separately take this information i literally will not be able to find out geeta's rank because the total number of kids cannot help me to find out the rank of geeta so one alone is not sufficient option a is out similarly if i only read the sentence b which talks about been 10 students who are less than geeta again it is not sufficient to find out the rank of geeta why because i need the total also isn't it if i don't get the total how would i even know geeta's rank suppose i don't know how many students are there but i just say that arjun is better than three people so can i tell the rank no until unless i know out of how many i could not so statement 2 alone is also not sufficient what is sufficient then what is the difference between 3 and 5 that is either and both now this is interesting here in this case both of them are required to know the answer because if i know the total number of people and the rank from the bottom so i can use this formula this is top and this is total so don't get confused total is equals to top rank plus bottom rank minus 1 so here in this case if i know that 10 people are below geeta so out of 30 people so geeta would be at what rank we can find that out easily yes we can so therefore we need both the statements now what is the case of either what is the case of either let's say uh, let's take an example where i say that Mm, let's take another example of aviraj hi aviraj welcome back so if i take the uh, example of avi then for uh, aviraj if i take the example so in the case, oh aviraj just dropped in and joined in again okay all right i thought that you are still there in the class i think you came in right now so hi aviraj so in this case uh, let's take an example of aviraj let's say that the question is what is the age of aviraj okay i ask you what is the age of avi so in the case of this i give you the first statement which says that aviraj's age is fourth multiple of 3 and the second statement says that aviraj's age is second multiple of 6 what is your answer now alone one is uh, sufficient alone two is sufficient or either of them is sufficient or both of them is sufficient what would you choose very good we'll go with either because both of them alone can give me the answer as 12 so therefore the answer for these type of questions will be either or either but when i say that aviraj's age is less than priyasha's age and aviraj's age is no let's say that aviraj's age is the um, yeah so if i want to change the question i will say statement number 1 is aviraj's age is half of half of priyasha's age okay and the second statement says that priyasha's age is 24 then in that case what you people will understand that ma'am i need both the statements why because only when i know priyasha's age i will find out its half and find the answer as 12 got it everyone clear clear yeah how lucky is aviraj he came and got an example of his name hmm lucky boys like you all right number 8 find the value of x and this is going to blow your mind i'm serious hmm really i knew you people will fall in the trap kudos i mean uh dab for me myself i prove i i actually uh, prove the fact that i can put you in trap successfully okay this leads to people changing their answer 
either come on all right i have one correct answer but i need the logic behind that so the answer to this question is neither and i need a logic it might be same maybe decimal exactly there is no mention of the word integer my dear friend i do understand that if i put it as integer you might say that ma'am greater than 5 and less than 7 has only one possibility that is 6 but it's never mentioned that x is a integer where did they say oh <laughs> yes amen Om is like oh no it i could hear that meme you know <laughs> i can hear that right now <laughs> of that oh no anyways so you people got it right now that yes it's no like nowhere mentioned that x is an integer if it's not mentioned you cannot say that both of them is the answer this was actually a controversial question this was typed wrong i mean given wrong in one of the famous international olympiads Mm, and i along with two people wrote an email also about it <laughs> we got complimentary books for that which is of no use literally but then anyways we got books so we are in profit so we got complimentary books for uh, getting them giving them the right answers so that how it goes okay so you can also tell people if you find something wrong in their books or exams or huh? write mails it would be really effective what if you get to see yourself in newspaper one day <laughs> all right then so with this comes the last and the most important part of this class that is how was the class you know i'll keep on boring you people with the same question every class and i really wish to see you people in next week same time because our classes would take i mean start from next class and next week itself same timing all right then i literally couldn't understand what para the logic of this question yeah so x was not mentioned to be an integer so it can be 5.5 5.2 6.1 6.7 no fixed answer right so you cannot really determine an answer or the value of x based on the two information Okay thank you Abhiraj thank you Aman thanks Arjun and Pavan that's so sweet of you thank you Aman thanks Om okay para remembers the last question thanks shre <laughs> thanks arshin thank you arav oh my god awesome in a coded form thank god i got it all right then thank you so much everyone so uh, puja ma'am are you still there you would like to conclude okay yeah then thank you all everyone all right friends hope you enjoyed the session i can see a big smile on everyone's face right <laughs> <laughs> very nice so <clears throat> thanks to you priya sha ma'am so all right kids what are you waiting for if you have enrolled that's perfectly fine you just see the classes on saturday we'll meet you there if not yet go and enroll fast okay you know the class days you know the class timings you know the each and every link okay so we'll see you in the session from saturday okay All right everyone happy weekend bye bye take care and roll fast and we'll see you in the classes okay bye bye Thank take you everyone. care bye bye take care bye bye so everyone take care